Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Glad to be with you. President Biden is now targeting your retirement investments, money that you've spent years building up. According to our next guest, the far left encouraging investment houses to, quote, steer clients toward companies that practice social environmental justice rather than toward the best investments. Joining me now for more on something called ESG, Oklahoma Senator and member of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, Senator James Lankford. Great to see you. Good to see you again, Rob. Um, you wrote about this in The Washington Times. Interesting piece. You write, quote, basically left-wing activists can make ESG mean whatever they want to get a company to agree to their radical environmental philosophy. Take us through what they're trying to do here. So th this ESG philosophy is really the activist left is what it is on Wall Street. And what the Biden administration is trying to do is to say, OK, you can take in not just fiduciary responsibility. That is the responsibility to make sure that your clients are actually making money. But you can say, well, you can take in the responsibility that your clients are actually socially liberal or that they're working on environmental issues. And that's the way that you're going to invest the money. Here's the biggest challenge with ESG. No one really knows what it means. It means whatever activists want it to mean. So they can step in one day and say, this is what it means to be environmental. And they can step in the next day and say, well, it means something more now to be environmental. They can talk about governance issues and to say, we want to help control the way that your company does governments or the way they're socially engaged or you're the members of your board. They can literally turn it to mean whatever they want it to mean. There is no general definition of what ESG means other than what the activists say it means today. They'll put pressure on corporate clients. Those corporations then will cave. Uh, to it, and then individuals in their retirement funds aren't really investing to get the greatest return for their retirement. They're investing based on the political preferences of the Biden administration. So, Senator, how does a company maintain a fiduciary responsibility to an individual client and and try to keep the left happy by, you know, following these these ESG guidelines? That has been my exact question. I've sat down with leadership at BlackRock and said, you have the first responsibility, actually fiduciary responsibility to your clients. Their comment is, well, there's also people that want to do social justice. My, my statement is that's fine. If individuals want to do social justice in their investing, right. that is their choice. That's how capitalism is at their best. You can invest in whatever you want to. It's driving by the market. But this is not driving by the market. Uh, this is political preferences of the far left saying that they want to compel everyone to be involved in that. Companies like Vanguard have just recently walked away from ESG investing, saying if we're going to be a fiduciary for the people that are investing for, with us, we've got to actually take care of they're getting a good return. Exactly. A lot of these ESG funds have high fees and they're not getting good returns. That's not helpful for Americans' retirement. Yes, yeah, somebody's retirement account, my 401k, for example, shouldn't be a, a stage for, for social justice experiments. Um, the House voted on this yesterday. It was close, 216 to 204. The Senate is going to vote on this today. How do you think it plays out? I think we win it in the Senate just barely, and I think we put it on President Biden's desk, and he has the question then to answer. Is his focus going to be adding more debt to the nation's debt? Uh, that he is continuing to do and reducing uh, Americans' retirement funds? Or is he going to actually focus in on trying to protect Americans to be able to invest in what they want to invest in and to be able to make that choice, whether it's an ESG right. fund or not? Uh, this is a simple way to say Americans can spend their money as they choose to. They can invest as they choose to. But do not mess with people's retirement, which is what the Biden administration is trying to do Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. My goodness. Uh, well, keep us posted. We'll be watching today what happens in the Senate. Um, five weeks ago today, Senator DirecTV dropped Newsmax from their channel lineup. Ted Cruz, your colleague, was on Newsmax last night talking about this. Take a listen. My objective is for Newsmax to be back on DirecTV. Millions of Texans enjoy watching Newsmax. I enjoy watching Newsmax, and I think viewers ought to have a choice. But don't try to deprive viewers of, of, of the right to be able to, to, to see intelligent commentary and news coverage. Senator, just want to get your reaction to that. Are you, are you surprised this has gone on this long, five weeks now? I am surprised it's gone on this long. This is a simple contract dispute uh, in it between two companies, and one company is basically saying, hey, I don't, I, I don't like this voice. I don't like your proposal on it. Well, you know what? Americans can vote with their wallets, just like we were talking about with the ESG before. Invest in what you want to invest in. But this is also a situation where if DirecTV is not providing the service that you want to be able to get, 
get another provider on it to be able to make sure that you're getting access to uh, the shows that you want to be able to watch, the commentary that you want to be able to take in, and the news and information that you're not getting anywhere else. All right, Senator James Langford, we'll be watching what happens in the Senate today. We appreciate you coming on and tell us about that. Thank you.